in the area joins the growing list of businesses closing due to the coronavirus pandemic. This closing comes as the city of Norfolk works to redevelop this specific area. News 3 reporter Nana Sancho Bansu has more on how people are taking the news. Yes, a spokesperson with Cinemark confirms that this location right here at Military Circle is permanently closed. People we spoke with today says this news hurts not just them personally, but the entire community. I'm kind of upset it's closed. This movie theater holds many memories for people who are from the area. I have six siblings, so we always came here on the weekends. A place that Deshaun Harris says is part of his childhood. It was when the movies came out. It was a place for the friends to meet up, go have a good time. Over the years, like many malls across the country, stores and other businesses started to close, but they never thought this theater would no longer have showing times. With the movies, that was the last thing we had to hold on to this mall. A source of fun and entertainment. In a statement to News 3, Cinemark tells us this closure is normal course of business and the result of the careful and ongoing review of our theater fleet, particularly in light of the impact of COVID-19. Lee Bray, who is also from Norfolk, hopes the city doesn't abandon the space. I wouldn't mind seeing something to replace the, the family engagement. Norfolk's Economic Development Authority is in the process of doing just that, reviving Military Circle Mall. It needs to spice back up. The redevelopment is a multi-step process. The city is currently reviewing proposals from teams interested in the redevelopment project, including design, construction, ownership, and financing. In the end, the project will include a walkable neighborhood, inclusive and sustainable mixed-use community. Until then, people in the community want city leaders to use the empty space as an opportunity for small business owners. You know, people who got their own business who can't really afford it, maybe they can come up with something to try to get the venues, you know, filled up. It's also important to note that the city's Economic Development Authority does own the mall, including the movie theater. It was purchased last year for $11 million. The city also tells us that Cinemark did not inform them of their plans to permanently close. In Norfolk, Nana Sancio Bonsu, News 3.